What up everybody? Instructor Beats back again. Today talking about division using the standard algorithm. Today we are focused on four digit dividends and one digit divisors. So this is video number five in our division playlist. We hope you'll check out the other ones. Let's dive right in. So today you will be able to divide four digit dividends by one digit divisors by using the standard algorithm. So again, we're focused specifically on the standard algorithm in these lessons. So these are the same um, steps for success that we had for our two and three digit dividends. So you don't need to write them again if you have seen that video, but if not, go ahead and feel free to jot these down. The first of all, the dividend goes inside, the divisor goes on the outside. We want to make an easy multiple sheet if needed. Okay, and today we are gonna practice that again, even if you don't need it. Um, that way when you do need it, you will know how to do it. We want to focus on following HMSB, how many groups, multiply, subtract, bring down. And then we want you to know you're only done when there's a digit over each digit in the dividend. And that's how you can check to make sure you're done, whether or not you have a remainder. It's important that you have a digit over each digit in the dividend. So we're going to dive right in with the problem. And first of all, right, step number one, we have the dividend go inside and the divisor go on the outside. We also want to make an easy multiple sheet today. So that was step number two. And that's just basically writing down your groups of your divisors, starting with one. You're gonna go all the way to nine because that is the biggest number or the biggest amount of groups you're going to use for your standard algorithm, which makes sense because if you go over nine, you have to regroup and we don't want to do that for the standard algorithm. We want to make it as easy as possible. So we write down seven groups of eight and eight groups of eight, and then we're going to write down nine groups of eight, and then we're going to have this when we need to refer to it to plug in numbers and groups into our standard algorithm division. So one group of eight is obviously eight, two groups would be 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, and 72. So now we're going to start, right? And we're going to be following how many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? We are attempting to find what t is. So t is just called a variable. Really, it's just any number. It's just an unknown number that we don't know because it's unknown. And so we're going to write our answer over here because whatever number we get, that's what we could substitute or take and trade t out for to make this equation true, right? So we're going to start with our very first digit, our biggest place value. How many groups of eight go into four? That one's pretty easy. It's zero because eight's bigger than four. Then we're going to multiply whatever digit that is. So eight times zero is zero. Subtract and then we're gonna bring down our three. Now I know, again, some teachers teach you just to skip that and go to the next place value. I want you to put that zero there because it's gonna help you make sure your place values are lined up. So right now we know we're gonna have a zero in the thousands place. And that's gonna be important, especially when you get to decimals. So now we've brought down, we start back over how many groups of eight go into 43. We can look over here and we can see, well, the most amount would be 40, and that was five groups. So above my 300, I'm going to put a five, then I'm going to multiply. Five times four is 40. I subtract that. I get three. I bring down my next digit. I have a two. And I'm going to start all the way back over at how many groups. Many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. How many groups of eight go into 32? Well, I can see right here, I have exactly the amount I need, which is four groups. So above my tens place, I'm gonna put a four, which makes it a 40. I'm gonna multiply, which I've already done over here. That's 32, oops, that's 32. My next step is to subtract, that's zero. And I'm gonna bring down this zero right here. And now I have zero. Now this is why it's so important to make sure that you know you're done only when you have a digit over each digit in the dividend. Because some people would think, hey, I'm done because I don't have any number down here, which means I don't have a remainder. Well, you're not done because right now you'd be telling me your answer is 54. And that can't be right because if I estimated eight times 50 would be about 400, not 4,000. So you're not done yet. 
you have a really easy step left. How many groups of 8 go into 0? Zero? 0. And now we multiply, right? And even though we're kind of done, we just want to play out the steps, subtract. We have nothing left to bring down. Now I have a digit over each digit in my dividend, so my answer is 540. It also would have made sense if you knew you weren't done because your five is in the hundreds place. So your answer can't be 54 because that would be the five would be in the tens place. So making sure your place values are lined up will also help you not get confused by that. So we're gonna say that T equals 54. So we can substitute 54 into T, which would make this equal. If you wanna double check it using your inverse operations, you can do that, right? So 540, my inverse operation would be 8, 0, 32, regroup your 3, 40 plus 3 would be 43, and although that's terrible handwriting, that is 4,320, which is my dividend. So my answer is correct. Now go ahead and pause the video. Um, make your easy multiple sheet, even if you don't need it, just to practice that skill. Push play when you're ready, and we'll check it out. And you're trying to find what C is, again, which is just a variable. It's just a number that you don't know yet, so you use a letter to represent that. So hopefully you just push play, right? And you had your dividend inside, and your divisor on the outside. You wrote down your steps over here just to help you remember, and then you made your easy multiple sheet. So your easy multiple sheet would start with one group, so one group of nine. So now we're going to start with how many groups of nine fit into six. Well, the answer for that would be zero because nine is bigger than six. I multiply, subtract, and bring down. Now I start all the way back over. How many groups of nine go into 67? Well, I can't use eight because that's too big. I need to use seven, which is perfect. So I'm gonna use seven right here. I multiply, which I've already done over here. That's 63. I subtract, I get four, and I bring down. If you notice, I kind of do all four steps in a row and I don't stop until after I bring down. That's because I know that's my last step before I start over. So if you do all four steps in a row, you'll never kind of get lost of, oh, am I subtracting or multiplying now? Just do all four steps in a row, which makes it easy when you have your easy multiple sheet, and then start back over and take a break when you get to how many. So how many groups of nine fit into 46? Well, I can fit five in, because that's 45. And so I'm gonna put my five in my ends place. I'm gonna multiply that. Nine times five is 45. I subtract, that's one. I bring down my eight, which I have left. That's eight, which makes 18. Now, how many groups of nine go into 18? Obviously, that one's pretty easy, but you can check your easy multiple sheet over here if you need to. Nine times two, when I multiply, that's 18. I subtract at zero, I have nothing left to bring down. And so I'm done because I have a digit over each digit in the dividend, C equals 752. So if your dividend is 6,768, your divisor is nine, your quotient will be 752. So as always, please check us out at, on YouTube at Instructed Beats Official. We have an awesome standard algorithm division song we love for you to check out. You can follow us at Insta, uh, on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats. Uh, feel free to continue with our division playlist or check out any of our other resources. We'd love to have you check them out. Thanks for watching. Instructed Beats, out!